I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to the first in a series of CCNA five minute practice exams. I'm going to present you with five questions in this practice exam in a fairly rapid manner so we can have plenty of time to look at some real Cisco routers and switches for the answers and explanations. So it may go a little bit over five minutes, but you'll find this very helpful for your exam prep. And also, of course, we'll be doing these for CCNP exams, Network Plus 2009, and coming up Server 2008 as well. So let's go ahead and dive right into question number one. What is the default value of variance in EIGRP. And secondly, what command will verify the answer to question one? If I want to see what the current variance is, period, whether it's default or not, what command will show that to me? Next question, we're going to swap over to OSPF for a moment. When you run show IP OSPF neighbor on a router, you'll notice that some routers in your network are called DR others. What does that mean? What does that mean? Zip over to question four. Five EIGRP route codes that you'll see in the topology table are P, A, U, Q, and R. Of these five, which one indicates a route that is currently being calculated by the EIGRP routing al algorithm and cannot be used to route data? And then finally, what is that EIGRP routing algorithm? Better know that one. What is the EIGRP routing algorithm? Let's go back to question one and we'll be able to bring up some routers and switches here and look at the answers. The first one, the default value of variance is one. So in effect, EIGRP is set for equal cost load sharing. And of course, if we change variance, we're working with unequal cost load sharing. And we can verify that with the command show IP protocols. If you can't find information on any protocol that you're running with another command, it's probably in show IP protocols. It's really the first place I look for any information on a protocol. And right in the middle of all of this, the variance one is mentioned. So I haven't changed anything here. We've got a basic EIGRP config. And again, the variance default is going to be set to one. A router that's called a DR other in OSPF, that means that for that particular segment, that router is neither the DR nor the BDR. Let's say on a broadcast segment you have three routers or even four. We're going to have one DR, we're going to have one BDR, and the other two would be DR others. Those routing codes I mentioned, again, these are in the topology table and they may be somewhat new to you because if you run show IP route EIGRP or just show IP route you're not going to see the codes here you'll just see the EIGRP and EIGRP external codes mentioned what I'm talking about with that command when I mentioned the topology is in this table show IP EIGRP topology and here are those codes the two that we're most concerned with really at the beginning of our studies especially are passive and active. And you'll notice these two routes are marked P for passive. And it does sound a little counterintuitive that you want your routes to be passive, not active. But in EIGRP, that's absolutely true. If a route is marked with this capital A for active, that means it's currently being calculated by the EIGRP routing algorithm and cannot be used to route data. If you even happen to see that letter A here, hopefully you'll only see it for a moment or two because if it stays inactive, it's called it's what we call stuck inactive and that's a whole other video onto itself, believe me, maybe two or three. But hopefully you never see the letter A in there, but you do need to know that that's what active means. And then finally, what is the EIGRP routing algorithm that I've been referring to? It's dual. D-U-A-L. Definitely need to know that one. So thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this practice exam. We'll have five to seven of them posted every single week, either on the YouTube channel, of course, the tutorials page on the main site, thebrandadvantage.com. has over 300 videos, practice exams, and fully illustrated tutorials for you. And these exams will also be posted on the blog as well at the bryantadvantage.blogspot.com. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and thanks for watching.